Marcus Hirsch with Daily Racing Forum. We're here with one of America's most recognizable white-haired trainers. No, not that one. Todd Fletcher. I mean, I, you just said that you played your, you played your, you were trying to compliment yourself on your witty repartee up on stage with the other three trainers, but I really think you left a lot back in the barn. I mean, hopefully uh, not only there, but for the race as well. <laughs> it seems like your colleague, Mr. Lucas, is kind of thinks that Justify is um, un, almost unbeatable in this race. Are, are you a little more hopeful that he could be upset? Well, I mean, I, th I think it's his race to lose, and if the Justify, you know, at his best shows up, then, you know, it's a tall order. But, you know, this could be an interesting scenario. He's drawn the rail. He's, he's always put himself in a clear position, and, uh, you know, should he find himself in a, in a different one for the first time, going a mile and a half, you never know. But, you know, he's the horse to beat, no question about it. But, uh that's why they run the race, yeah. and uh, we're excited about the way our two horses are doing. You say Justify at his best. Do you think he was at his best in the Preakness? Um, I don't think his Preakness was as, as impressive as his Derby or, you know, as even a Santa Anita Derby. But, yeah. you know, what, Does that give you hope? I mean, Well, he, it, gives you, it gives you maybe hope, but it also tells you that, you know, when a horse can win and they're not at their best, they're even more dangerous the next time. So, you know, you, you just don't know until they, until they run it, but the indications of his two works since then, he looks like he's training very well and you know I think uh, you know we need him to, to wake up on the wrong side of the bed a little bit <laughs> yeah um, something you never do I know <laughs> now, Noble Indy has we know he has some speed are you going to let him run out there and use it in this race and I mean he he's the one to me that could challenge Justify and make him set an honest pace. Maybe you feel well, differently. Well, yeah, I mean, you think Restoring Hope has a little bit of pace. I can't imagine Bob would want his other horse putting a lot of pressure it's on, to on, on Justify. And, you know, maybe Blended Citizen, who was kind of stalking the fractions in the Peter Pan. But, I mean, I think Noble Indy's best chance of winning the Belmont is to get away from the gate and be forwardly placed. And then I think at that point, it's going to be up to Mike Smith to determine how fast the fractions are. I mean, if you know, he's probably not going to want to get in a head-to-head -head duel with Noble Indy, so maybe he's going to clear him or maybe he's going to sit back. But, you know, we'll, we're we're running Noble Indy to win, and we're going to give him the best chance to win, and we feel like allowing him to get into a rhythm and flow of the race is the best way to do that. And what trip would you like to see for Vino Rosa, who's drawn, he's eight, right, right next to Noble Indy? Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, you know, for him, it it's a matter of trying to find some position into the first turn, and the, and the real key is just getting into a comfortable flow, a comfortable rhythm, and... and Allowing his stamina to, to you know, take hold, and uh, you know, we've we've always felt strongly that the mile and a half was going to suit him well, and he's a strong galloper, and he always finishes his works and gallops out really strongly, and uh, you know, so that's that's what we're we're hoping for. Um, you know, where he's positioned early is going to be more up to Johnny and more up to how fast the fractions are. If they go 47, and he's going to drop back a little bit. If they go 49, he's not going to be as far back as you would think. Can you compare him to any of the other Belmont horses? Um, you know, I mean, he, he's 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 similar to me to to Taprit and Destin. Um, rides me of those two a bit, well, which uh, you know I prefer they did for him to well. be Taprit. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, strong galloper, always finishes well and keeps keeps galloping out strongly, and you know, and and also a little bit like those two, a little bit inconsistent, you know, and things sometimes gets distracted a little bit. So I think, uh, you know, to, for him to be involved in the race a little bit, just have his focus and attention and into that rhythm, that's what we're looking for. Awesome. Best of luck. Thanks for your time, Todd. Thank you.